What's up turtles? This is Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a video talking about and showing a really great resource in the forest which is fatwood. And I've collected some here which unfortunately I found this when I was not out with Stony. But there will be videos of sort of collecting and finding fatwood so stay tuned and hold your comments until you maybe see that video. Uh, but I found some fatwood, and what fatwood is, is really impeg imp uh, impregnated, saturated wood of, a, of pine trees or really resinous conifers, not hemlock. Hemlocks, this is not occurring. Uh, it's, it's saturated, impregnated with pitch or resin or, or sap, and it's wood. You can see this is actually wood, but it's so saturated, impregnated with, with resin, it really takes on this different, different characteristic. And this is really valuable for getting fires. And people, I know the people in Amazon and Rainforest, the locals really covet this for keep getting and keeping fires going in really damp uh, climates. And this is really going to hold, hold, um, hold a flame for a long time, which I will show you in a second. But uh, in, in, in um, like I'm not around, excuse me, I'm not around pine trees right now, but as an example as to where you could look on a tree for sapwood, there's a hemlock here. Uh, and a point where a branch meets the trunk and say this was broke off and the tree tried to heal itself and sent resin there as a natural defense for a wound. These sort of areas here where the branch is coming off is really where fat will be located. Now this is not, and like I said, there will be a video of finding fat wood and collecting it. But for sort of idea's sake, that's where you'd want to look or if there's a big scrape in a tree, another tree hit it falling down, um, the pine, say pine tree where, around where I am would send the resin to heal itself for that spot and then you can just collect it right off the bark of the tree or the trunk of the tree. Alright, let's get down and light this on fire. Really show you show you it's really uh, how effective and great it is for, um, for fire. I'm not going to use this big piece, like I said, this is really valuable, especially around here. Where there's not a lot of pine trees. I'm going to use this, I'm going to use a smaller piece. I'll show you how long just this, this will last for. And for the sake of being out in the woods, I, I found some really uh, uh, dry bark, which I have broke up and really shredded, which I'm going to use a, use a ferro rod to light. Here's the bark. Stoney, get on that. I'm going to show you what it looked like before I did that. Here's more of it. It came from this bigger clump that I've collected and been drying in. This is just shredded bark that's on old trees that I'll find around here, and there will be another video of me finding this resource as well. And I basically kept this in my pocket, kept it dry, because it is so fibrous and light, it really will pick up moisture very, very fast. So putting it next to my body in my pocket will help dry it off, but I just got a little bit right here to help light the fa uh, fat wood and show you. Open this up a little bit and maybe get a little more surface area. There you go. Put a little piece of this wood in there. Now the fat wood's caught. I'll let that sit and watch it do its thing. Try to block the wind a little bit. And that will just burn for a while. I'm not sure how long this, you know, for timing wise. But this is going to burn a while and this is really going to help you get a fire. And like I said, this is a very small piece and I have a, a larger piece here, so I'm not going to light up. But if this was a resource in your area you could find a lot of, you could really, it makes it a lot easier to get and keep fires going when it's wet. It's fat wood, really amazing stuff. It's Craig signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.